What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we got a 1973 Charger 440 under the hood. This one's got power steering. It's got power brakes. And of course, we're going to take it down the road, point out anything I can see so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available for you. And of course, you know, you can see all kinds of new rides from Maple Motors Classic Cars every Monday at 11. So hit subscribe, share this video, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, look around the interior and check everything out. You hear that buzzer? It's ringing in here. We got green interior, looks pretty good. Doors kind of scuffed up over here on the side, on that panel there. But the top looks pretty good. Coming across your dash, you do got some cracks. Got a crack right here. You also got some in the middle here. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel. This one starts up easy. It's nice and quiet. Engine temperature is still working its way up. Battery's charging and oil pressure is up. We're going to stop and get some gas because we are at a quarter tank here showing 24,000 miles on the dash. And of course, we're going to go over. You got left turn signal popping up. You also got a right turn signal popping up on the dash there. We're going to try the wipers. Wipers are not doing anything. They may be stuck on the hood here. Let me see if I can pull up on the hood. Well, wipers are not working. They're gonna need some work. Looking around on the interior. Back's in good shape. Package tray, not too bad. Your headliner in this one, nice and clean. Go ahead and place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Do it right after the radio. Is the radio cutting on? Doesn't look like that radio is working. Horn? Works good. Sweet. Glove box is hanging a little bit here. Okay. Let's hit the road. We'll see how she runs and drives. Okay, well it just started pouring down rain and now it's just barely sprinkling. So we might wanna go ahead and try to get this video out, do the test drive, get back here, you know, wipe the car off and uh, do the walk around. I think we're gonna be just fine. I do need to stop up at the gas station and get a little bit of fuel. Sorts of good. It actually cooled it off. It was a hundred degrees here. It's down. 91 and I got both windows up. <laughs> I feel good because it's been 100 all day okay let's roll out of here anything I see I'll let you know that's why I make these videos of course like I said we're gonna stop up at the gas station windshield wipers are not working I sprayed some rain eggs on the window like I said, it came down to a sprinkle, so we'll be fine. Letting go of that steering wheel, we got a left pull. Pretty significant there. Motor seems to be pulling pretty good when you hit the brakes. Brakes are stopping good, they feel all right. The front end there just feels kind of Fully. We'll see that. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. The original engine temperature is actually coming up and it seems to match what we got down here, so it may be pretty correct. I think they just wanted something that actually had numbers so they can read out other than just a dummy gauge. Uh, the oil pressure's sitting around 50. I noticed the, uh, the window over here. I don't know what's going on. Are you coming out? All right. I had to help it down a little bit, but once it contacted, it started working. They quit raining. Good deal. Yeah, 
this one definitely feels like it may need a little bit of front end work. I'm not exactly sure what, but I can feel it as I'm driving. So we're gonna pull in the gas station here. I'll get about $20 worth of fuel. I'm gonna keep this test drive rolling. If anything, he may let me do the review here. That'd be kind of cool. Have it under the awning. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I got gas in this ride. Put about $20 with the premium fuel, and we're getting ready to take off down the road. We'll check that gauge. It was below a quarter tank just a second ago. Let's see if it come up. So I'm gonna start it up. Give her a little gas. Looks like it's working to me. Let's hit the road. All right, let's roll out of here. It's trying to sprinkle again. It's quit raining for me to walk around the ride, point out all the little flaws and stuff. Let's see if we can outrun the rain. Just drizzling out here. Of course, it is five, almost five o'clock too, so we gotta join the traffic. In this crazy populated town now. <laughs> Definitely got a left pull still. I'm gonna try to get over there and roll up that window. Okay, got that window up. We're gonna get this window up. I'm gonna leave it cracked though. You see how it jumped there? You gotta help it the rest of the way up. I'm gonna leave it cracked anyways, it's hot. <laughs> I guess it's raining this way. See, the other way, if we'd have went that way, we wouldn't have ran into this. 
a little tire spinach there because it's wet. We'll check it with this bump here. Not too bad. Front end, it's kind of pulling left and right, more left than right. Like I said, with the window, once it gets to the top, you got to help it. Okay, well, we're getting ready to pull back into the car lot here. Got a big line of never ending traffic. So I'm gonna let y'all go. And uh, if you don't mind, hit subscribe. That'll help me out quite a bit. And I thank you for watching this video. See you later, guys. Bye. Oh, it did end. Okay, now we're gonna walk around this ride, point out chips, scratches, anything I can find. Go to maplemotors.com for financing and shipping, detailed pictures. Let's get started. You got some pitting on the grill up front here. See, it does show some signs of age. A little crack right there in the lens. Cracks over here. Trim there's bubbled up a little bit. Go ahead and check this side out too. A little bit of pitting. Scratch. Went down this lower portion. Tires are in good shape, up and over. Light scuffs here on the side. Picked up some dirt definitely on the right over here but you got a scratch here paint runs at the bottom a spot in the corner here in the back looks a little flat too got some rust bubbling up in the back here bubbles there Little cracks up here top the fender pitting on your chrome front windshield looks pretty good trim looks good hazy down here up over your top it's actually uh, in decent shape a little dry looking well, it looks pretty good Some 
bubbles right here so they're in there and around your back window trim's good bubble there rust coming through it on the trunk lid coming around the back get a little bit of pitting your lenses back here got some cracks in them you also got some rust popping up there light cracks in your lenses there Your jams there. A little dirty. Chipping with the paint. Seals in good shape. Chips over here too. And the seal in the corner here is definitely ripped. Torn. The trunk itself's been sprayed black. package tray looks pretty good trunk lid itself a spot there a spot on the edge there chips here in the corner coming down with it Light bubbles. Little spot there in the corner. Coming down this side. Lower portion first. Down the lower side. Definitely some bubbles popping up here. We picked up some dirt on the test drive. Sorry about that, guys. It started raining on us and the road's got a little bit wet, so I'm gonna have to take her back there and clean it up again. We got some bubbles there also in the corner here. Up and over. Chips light bubbles down at the bottom here above the trim bubbles in the corner of the door a couple spots there a little bubble there up and over you can see where it's been painted on here touched up Back that midsection. Chip there. A little hazy stain in the paint. Stain here in the middle of the door. Pitting on your mirror. And your door handle. scuff on the trim a little bubble popping up underneath the top here so it probably does have a little bit of rust trying to grow there a little bubble here on your back portion slight rust trying to come through under the trim here Feels like a little bubble here as well. 
Front windshield on this one looks pretty good. Spot there. Of course, coming down the top of that fender, you got a chip here, which I've already showed. A little bit of overspray on the front. All right, let's go ahead, open her up, start it back up. Door panel on this one's showing signs of age. Top of it looks pretty good. Down your edge, a little rust. Some at the bottom here. A little dry there on that seal. Carpet in this one. Actually in good shape. Huh. Seat looks good. It's not all tore up from the bottom to the top. Back here, it's pretty good. Your door panels, uh, they got some scuffs on them. Package tray, not too bad. Headliner, sweet. And of course across the dash here, it does have a few cracks. And this glove box won't stay shut. It needs to be readjusted. Give her a little gas. Oil pressure on this one sitting around 40. Engine temperature has been great this whole time. It did drop to what's a one. Listen to this motor. Those kick out one. Motor's quiet. Little rust there in the corner. Little rust there. But the motor is just nice and quiet on it. Insulation's kind of falling here. Shut's good. Shit's on the edges of the hood. Over here as well. And up in the corner. Guys, we went all the way around this ride. Check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Also, check out all the cars that we get in every Monday, and I appreciate you watching. Have a good one. See you later.